back again, my beautiful people. You don't know where the Emirates Stadium game finish. As you know, Arsenal beat um, Everton 2 1, but Man City actually do the job. Phil Foden scored in the first half an hour for Man City, and it was just like a, a damn crowd. You know, Arsenal deflated. And today wasn't a beautiful game, but they come away with the three points. Yes, we got over 90 points, but the end of the day is that Man City win the quadruple. They win the title four times in a row. It's never been done before, as you can see. I just come out the stadium, there was parading around the pitch. And, you know, it, it's just too pep. I don't know where, you're, I don't know why, why they're parading. It was, it was a little bit not for me. A little bit deflated. I know there's a lot of people chanting and everybody like the Arsenal and you know everybody like Mikel Arteta. But for me, it's three times now for three seasons in a row that he's supposed to do the job and he failed. And how much more? How much more we the Arsenal fans that comes here game in game out? You know the Arsenal supporter. How much more we can take? How much more? Is this going to continue for to see Arsenal keep on failing at the end of the line? They keep on stumbling and not finishing the Premier League as how it's supposed to finish. And I'm sick and tired of it now. I just want to see the real thing happen. Is either Arida, is either Arsenal get some balls and decide, say, you know what? Mikel Arteta, we've given you money, we've given you opportunity, we give you nearly five years now and nothing has been done so there's some form of changes I have to make and it just is what it is for me people like I said we can't keep on going on like this nobody remember who comes second nobody remember who comes first third people just remember who win the title and like I said the title is at the Etihad engraving the, the, the Man City 2023-24 champion of the Premier League again and it's a bit terrible. It, it's it's not nice. I know a lot of people. They they're feeling good, you know. Yes, we give them a good running for the money. We beat. They will take four points off them, and all of these things. And for me, these things just doesn't work because taking four points, we should have take six. Then we will be champion. Lose to to Aston Villa, where he made that change to starting eleven. That was another problem again. But if you talk to most Arsenal supporter. They would have seen it like that. They would just believe that, you know what, Man City was too good. Nobody will see that, you know what, Mikel Arteta fucked up again. Mikel Arteta failed to conquer where he get the opportunity to. And it is it, it happened uh, three seasons ago where we need to finish fourth to play the Champions League. And we went to Tottenham and Tottenham gave us an hiding. Then we went to Newcastle under Mike Ashley and lose again and we didn't get to finish in the Champions League position. Then the season come, last season now, we're supposed to win the Premier League title. We were leading the, 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 the we were leading the title for so long and we lost it and they come at the, the last four games of the season. We lost it. Now this season again is the same old same. Alright for rest. Respect. Is what it is, eh? This season again, you know, we'll, we'll blow it again because people have to remember that we it was in our hand. It was in our hand and for we to, to not win the Premier League, we cannot say Man City was too good. For me, that's not the case. I wouldn't get up and say Man City was too good, but I'm going to give them a breakdown of the Man City team versus the Arsenal team. And you will see, like on this year, the form. The, 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 the way our player played this year, I'm not talking about overall, I'm just talking about this season, how Man Manchester City first 11 fear off to Arsenal first 11. And if you can, and if you can look deep, in, I'm going to do that video, I'm going to drop that video, people, and if you can look and see, you will see how much of Arsenal player was a better player than Man City player. So it all boils down to the manager. The manager didn't do what he was supposed to do. And this is the result that we're, we're facing at the moment. Arsenal once again capitulate, do win the title. And a lot of people will get up and say, you know what, we give them a good run. But it's not the case. Be honest, be fair. That's not the case. It's not that we give them a good running. We just fail to win again.
and I'm gonna keep on emphasizing it. We did advertise with our own. When Man City play Liverpool and they drew, it bring back the title to the Emirates. All, all Arsenal have to do is to win the nine game that remained it. And they today would have been the champion would have been Arsenal. But we failed to do that. We lose a game against Aston Villa when there was no place for crack up. There was no place for dropping points. We shouldn't, if we didn't need to win the title, is a situation that we couldn't drop points. And yes, what we do, we go straight ahead and drop points. And it is what it is, people. It is what it is. I'm going to jump onto AFTV. I'm just going to say my piece. You know, me and Robbie are going to have it out, but for me, it's a failure again. At the start of the season, I did say to you, listen, if we didn't win a, tro didn't win a trophy, it's failure. And it do happen, we didn't win a trophy again. So for me, it's failure. It's, it is failure. Because you have to look at it. When the season starts, Arsenal was second favourite to win the Premier League. So if you lose it, if you didn't win it, that means say, you lose. It's not like a Everton, it's not like a, a Crystal Palace where these teams are, are fighting to stay in the Premier League and fighting to finish in the top half and wanting to finish as high as possible. They, they have no ambition or nobody seen them of winning the Premier League. So when team like that, like, like you can talk about the Aston Villa who finished fourth today, even though they get a hiding from Crystal Palace 5-0, they get beaten today, but they didn't have nothing to really play for because Palace, um, Tottenham didn't believe that they could have played the Champions League. And look what happened today. Look what happened today. And we don't know if it was a situation where Aston Villa didn't need to play for something. Would they go to, to um, Crystal Palace and play like that? We just never know. But because they know they qualify for the Champions League, it's like anything goes, everything goes, and they just play the way they play today. And it was just a game where, I don't know, I'm feeling a bit deflated. There is nothing to celebrate. There is nothing to say that we achieve the most points and the invincible do achieve the. Uh, I think we achieve one more point. So people are gonna compare it and say how much game we win, different from all of these things. But it still go along that we have to win the Premier League when we have the opportunity to do it. We didn't do it, and it doesn't matter what people wanna say. It is a bottle drop again because we did have the opportunity to win it and we didn't win it. So if people want to say Mikel Arteta is the best manager, he's the best this, is the best that then, people feel just what they want to say. I will say what I want to say. I will think what it is and it is what it is. We, we, we didn't do it again. We failed to win the Premier League title again. If you look and people are going to say, oh, next season going to be our season, but next season Man City going to improve. Next season Chelsea going to improve. We know that um, um, Liverpool going to improve. Everybody going to improve. So it's not a given that we're just going to come next season and win the Premier League again because just like how we will improve, team going to improve as well. And the team them that looking to win it, we know, look, 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 how, look how Chelsea finish. Look how strong Chelsea finish. Nobody would have believed that Chelsea would have finished one. Well. I think they finished six or seven. Nobody would have believed that Chelsea would have finished that, that in, in that place. Because at one point Chelsea was sitting in the bottom half of the table and couldn't get a win. They win one, they lose two, they draw one. And Chelsea season was like abysmal. It was all over the place, up and down, up and down. You understand? So next season, next season, he needs to sign us a gun to the striker and we're going to win that league. I'm telling you. Did you hear him say next season? We're next sign season. Us. If I have a stunt at the striker, yeah, someone in midfield and another defender, we're taking that league. Trust. That's what the Arsenal some fraternity to say. But I say that they're going to improve. Every team going to improve. So we don't believe that Man City going to sit still. Pick one of them, maybe go for the five in a row. He, he, not maybe, he will go for the five in a row. Who should stop him? You're going to stop him. Arsenal going to stop him. Chelsea going to stop him. Uh, Man you gonna stop him, Liverpool gonna stop him. Who's gonna stop him? They gonna they're gonna sign player again. Don't believe that City gonna stand still. Because they can sell a couple of players and improve from what they have. Berlin Allen miss a couple or maybe a two months out of the season and he and he and he, and he, and he win the golden boots. 
What if he was on farm like how he was on farm in the first half of the season? This guy just come from Dortmund and, and, and in the second year in the Premier League and he win two cycles. Back to back. I, I'm sorry for the, the likes of Saka, Holy God. Uh, me personally, I believe that they need a stronger manager, a manager who can finish over the line. And I don't believe Mikel Arteta have it as yet. I'm not saying that he can't do it, but at the, this very present moment, I don't believe that Mikel Arteta have the ability to, to finish top unless something dramatically happened where Man City drop off from Chelsea, Liverpool, all of them drop off from and not playing good. And it can happen, but is that the way you want to win the Premier League? Is that, do you believe Mikel Arteta is the man who's going to take Arsenal over the line to win a Premier League title? It is beyond me. I, I don't know. I'm not saying that he's not, but at the very present moment from what I'm seeing, I have big doubt. And if you ask me if I should change manager, yes. And, and people are going to say, look what he's done to the team, he improved the team, but that's what we pay you for. That's what we spend the money for. And average we spend quarter of uh, 250 toes a season. So don't tell me that my team not supposed to be strong, my team not supposed to be better when you spend me that money. And in no circumstance, um, the likes of um, um, Arsene Wenger wasn't spending that sort of money. They, they wasn't giving that sort of money to spend. So, Mikel Arteta is getting it. So, yes, yes, my team is supposed to be stronger than what we is, better than what we is, because we are spending the cash, we are spending the dough. And if people believe that what Mikel Arteta do is success, then we really deluded. We don't know what his success looks like, we don't know what his success because this is not success by a long shot. Finishing second again is not success. We spend 105 million on Declan Rice, we spend 65 million on Kyle Aver. So you look at that, who else will buy again? We buy David Rea. Yes, we buy him. It's just because they couldn't actually buy him outright as I'm going to go over the, 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 um, the threshold of spending and maybe they would get points deductive. So we, what they do, they loan him from um, Brentford and for this season. But the money that they give is not really for a loan fee, it's just half of it to, to buy him. So, yes, David Rea going to get sold from, by, from Brentford. That is the, the, the deal that makes so it's no turning back that David Rea going to go back to Brentford. No, he's an Arsenal player, he's just an Arsenal. Could he spend that amount of cash and buy David Rea? So, when you look at it, people, for me, it's a disappointing season because we haven't win nothing. We haven't win a cup, a plate, a spoon, or haven't win anything. So I take this as a disappointing season. I take this as a season that we drop points and whatever anybody wanna say, people wanna say, we drop points. We not we sorry, we, we, we fail. We fail to win another title again. How much longer is this gonna go on for? I don't know. How much more money Mikel Arthur they're gonna spend this season again? It's beyond me, but all I could say is that we can't keep on doing what we're doing, season in, season out, and losing the Premier League title, dropping out of the FA Cup early, not taking the Carabao Cup serious, and not strong enough for the Champion League. Who is going to sign this season? It's, it's no doubt that we have to go and sign a number nine. A, 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 a goal scorer who can give us at least 25 goals a season. Can you see how much it takes? Erling Haaland score 28, 29 goals. I don't believe he scored today, but that's what it takes. It doesn't. That's what we need. A, a, a out and out number nine who is a bully who can man angle a defender and we can get goal from 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 him. Yes, many people say um, looking at it, goal is not um, scoring goal is not a problem, but. In a couple of games, yes, in the early part of the season, yes, it become a problem. Yes, I understand Kyle Avers step up and scoring. People saying that, you know what, he's a flop buying him from, from Chelsea where he wasn't scoring at Chelsea. But yes, he come to the Arsenal and he's been scoring now. But yes, people, they are again, so yeah.